this is just going to be a short video. I am doing an update on this time on my father, and it's very important. Uh, I was at the hospital with my mom today. She had an appointment. I spent all day long with her at the hospital. Uh, I will release a video apart from that. Um, but it's about home for elderly, where my father is in the city of the Novo Mesta, you know. Uh, from the hospital, I took my mom for a visit to the father, and the two were hugging each other. Well, the father couldn't hug, but he was so happy the mama paid the visit. Uh, he was, you know, all, you know, blessed about it. Um, I don't know, his eyes were big, and I felt like watery, I don't know. It made me, or made me feel like this. He's, he's in bed already for far too long. And... I told him, of course, that I'm going to bring mom also tomorrow. Mom is on a wheelchair. This is a totally separate story. This is an extremely criminal story indeed. But let's keep it to the father right now. The situation is indifferent over there. Um, he stated to me when we departed from home for elderly that he had seen many beds. Uh, that uh, talk in front of me to mom that there is bed also for her that we have to make a place also for her that she can be next to him etc 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 what under MK Ultra translated his words and uh, he has seen many beds before like this um, that he would commit a suicide um if he would see me uh, not paying attention to one, uh, not uh, playing along his police crime against me, subject myself to the brainwash, to the MK Ultra brainwash in real time, uh, by simply pulling a court from his uh, gelodets, it's where they inserted this to him. This is a food tube, feeding tube for the food. Stomach. It goes straight to the stomach because he refused to eat food. He didn't want to eat food. He did something, as I stated, I would do, you know. So, um, and it's also what they stated me that this is what my problem is. That I have a problem here. That my stomach is about to explode. That it's full of acid this is what they were playing with during MK Ultra. the main thing is the main things are two things there are two main things about this home for elderly people where this abuse is taking place in the city of the Novo Mesto. Well, the main take is that uh, when my father has stated me that well, he would commit a suicide, uh, he stated that he would do this at night time. There will be no attention, whatever, that at one point in time he will just decide and he will commit a suicide. Uh, it was a nursing staff from Home for Elderly People that insisted me that's right. And it was you who demanded uh, Lopachki, uh, like rackets they put on his 
feet and uh, tied one to the bed. It was you who demanded those rackets to be taken down and for him to be untied. It is true, but it's also true that personnel from Home for Elderly People have brainwashed me how difficult it is, how father suffers, and have further tied me to the bed with the rackets, tortured me for one month at a time tied to the bed, scratching my throat, literally with a feeding tube through the nose. That's also true. So we have a problem here with this stuff. This is going to the police. As far as mama, uh, I was told today, I was demonstrated the picture by the young physician who was involved in this crime against me. Since 2008, this young man was doing a practical work over there at this place with another schoolmate and he was doing this maybe just off and on, I don't know. Pripravništvo, um, not really. Intern, something like this. Maybe he went through the technical or whatever. Uh, and it was his fellow guy also who liked me uh, during MK Ultra. The thing is that the way the police employed him was they threw the nice his friend that he had, they threw him away, they dumped him, they, there was few of them. That was at the General Hospital Novomesta today, where mother went for a meeting with his physicians in respect to her uh, broken foot, leg actually, just above, just above the foot, you know, if this would, if this would be a leg and this is a foot, let's just suppose theoretically she would have broken one here on both sides just above the foot uh, physician demonstrated me the scan the x-ray scan of uh, injury and uh, he stated to me during MK Ultra this guy well police condition him either you're going to engage in a violence against him they demanded from absolutely every physician absolutely every employee in the hospital to engage in violence against me uh, or you will not have the job it is as simple as this and so that was done in front of me I testify that stuff so uh, he did exactly what he was told to comply with just as other have done it uh, and came up also with a scenario, started to torment, to torture me during MKUltra. Mm, uh, my mother had a problem with broken foot, the way I'm talking about, right after I was thrown, I think, into the psychiatric hospital. Um, not too short after that, I would say. Uh, probably probably 2000 and, uh, 2012 even that, that that stuff happened to her and it's what they claim me it's why they kept me at the closed department for so long which was a total bestiality they performed to me without even allowing me to use the toothbrush toothpaste for several months um, that's how they claimed this is what they claimed yeah these are all the issues we're gonna use to investigate exactly what took place. Neighbor Igor Kotar was the one who retained, according to him alone, her medical records. Um, and this individual, the physician, the young physician, she, she examined himself, herself with him, claimed that uh, if you will not treat mama nicely, well, the mama nicely basically is to be quiet about the abuse because mama is keep trying to abuse. She has her ways, she keeps trying, she's very persistent. Uh, completely insane stuff, doing completely insane stuff. Uh, I cut the grass along the river bank cut the grass with, uh, I don't know how you call that, uh, it's not a seagull, but it's it's like a long, 
on a long uh, still uh, whatever whatever you use that stuff for to cut the grass I don't even use anything to cut the grass other than with a hand literally with a hand you know where you go and you swing that stuff and you cut the grass and it's very steep that river bank and not supposed to do that stuff because it's my left foot that has a very bad injury that can open at any time um, my spine has a problem my spine has a severe problems uh, doing this kind of stuff torso basically movements is just deadly for my spine uh, this is the type of injury it doesn't come to me right now it was a long day I got very little sleep I got four hours of sleep and off we were mama woke me up already like almost one hour and a half before uh, before the examination she had this morning um, and the, the criminal that comes here to cut the grass and occasionally off and on and also cut the the trees and do the, the work the manual work is a criminal indeed because this gangster told me uh, along the river bank because my spine already was broken I told you about what they did with my spine before the 2000 they, they completely broke the spine already they made very severe injuries with the spine before 2000 already in about 96, 97, my spine was broken through the Poland and through the uh, here Slovenian police. Uh, the Slovenian police told me if you want to cut the grass on the river bank, which is how steep like this, um, you have to tie yourself to the. There is a big tree, the big uh, walnut tree around your waist and you just you de-elevate yourself on the rope and you cut the grass this is how you're going to cut the grass we also have this uh, a nylon this type of like a fishing uh fishing line uh you know that spins that cuts the you can use that to cut the grass grass cutter whatever but uh, niece's husband Mitya Weber stated me uh, that they did something to the to that thing and because it's a it's full of reservoir of gasoline and you actually put this on your back he told me he wouldn't use it if I if, I, if it was him uh, meaning that they likely mine that stuff and if I would go and use that stuff I could possibly even turn myself into a, a flame basically imagine to put this behind your back and you know it just goes off it explodes on your back and you're gone basically like like this like a match basically uh, this is the kind of stuff they were playing with during MK Ultra. they were playing with everything they were destroying absolutely everything I wouldn't touch that motherfucker. Um, so he is a doctor of science in electronic, in uh, electrician. Uh, so you know, I wouldn't go and fuck with an individual that is. <sighs> I'm going to explain more about that stuff. Um, the guy who comes and cuts the trees here. No, I'm just giving you an example what kind of lunacy this is. He stated me during MK Ultra, he's going to go and cut the trees so that I could not use that uh, around my belt. Uh, and, you know, we'll instead have to take, you know, on a steep like this, uh, we'll cut the grass, fuck you basically, <laughs> with, the, with one leg problem serious problem with a foot problem that can that people go frequently on a surgeries for the stuff like this that surgeries that don't even resolve this kind of issue 
It's a such a severe problem. It's a such a severe fucking problem. And spine, which is like sort of hernia, but it's not hernia because this shit is never gonna repair itself. And it's really in bad condition. And go fuck yourself, he said. You go and you're gonna cut everything, the grass, and clean the river bank, yeah? Uh, and I did. I first used manually this stuff, then I did the uh, a grass cutting machine for the garden that I also used as much as possible to go and really clean everything up. And once you're done with it, is when I'm gonna come and I'm gonna do the rest of it, which is on a nice surface, on a flat surface. So he went and he cut the fucking trees like that. He went and he cut uh, the branches that I would use literally to stretch my spine during the work or workout or whatever I do. He made sure, he told me that he's gonna come and he's gonna cut the fucking branches from the tree, like a thick, nice branches. Till the last year I was doing exercise and he did. And he got his revenge, he got his vendetta uh, which police have also stated me they will do this satanical, diabolical stuff, man. Literally through my mama. So she is used the house to drive absolutely nuts. Once she got her appointment and the royal treatment and everything she had, I spent six hours something with her uh, at the hospital, the home for elderly people. She started to fuck me on the way back, saying to me, well, I'm going to call the other guy because I saw that you don't cut the grass around the house. Well, the thing around the house is that grass is not so low yet. Uh, and I was working a really tough job over there that needed to be done on a riverbank. So all she does is she's not happy with the food. She's not fucking happy. She's bitching about everything. And she fucks because... Brain fucking is good for somebody who has a cancer problems. It's just really, really a healthy stuff to do to somebody. Uh, so now they're all set. My papa gets a good food, a good place to sleep. My mom gets a fresh food, the best I can do. It's not worth that shit, but it's all fresh, it's all good. A lot of people would be grateful for it. Uh, and uh, I get to spend time like this, doing this stuff. Um, the important thing is that uh, my father is not going to pull the tube out of his stomach, uh, commit a suicide at night. Uh, he should absolutely be under the supervision 24-7. And that kind of stuff, from what I know, they only do in some prisons is where they have the close supervision, department for close supervision for people like this. Uh, and or uh, take all the precautions since it hurts my brain when I think about the stuff that the guy wanted to they put him on a feeding tube with something that you know he should get psychiatry psychology that will ask him question him what the fuck is going on why you don't want to eat, why this, why that, you know, and it's going to be, I'm going to be blamed for, uh, it's like this, uh, for the mama, uh, doctor stated today, uh, that it's a little bit worsening, and he brainwashed, and he traumatized during MK Ultra with the mother, with the police, that, uh, with the hospital personnel, that, uh, if it's going to be a surgery, they're going to do it bad. And so the, my mom is going to fade away. It's going to be finished with her. Uh, and that's going to happen if, you know, like I did right now, I bitched about it, right? I'm complaining about the mom, right? So this is now the police song, the way they wanted to enforce against me. So uh, I am only going to post this update today so that you understand what is going on here inside of this household, what kind of terms and conditions have British royals said uh, to drive me fucking insane, together with Milan Kuchan, uh, or on behalf of Milan Kuchan, Robert Golop, Natasha Pirtz-Musser, 
Danilo Turk Borut Pahor uh, uh, brains of Slovenian nation uh, so that's all I'm going to do I'm going to pause this and I will not say nothing but probably tomorrow I'm going to stop at the police department because we have some unfinished business still to complete uh, I am basically I spent the day cleaning working uh, much of the day also yesterday uh, I enjoy myself doing my stuff but you know, uh, this guy that, that uh, comes here to cut the grass, even that threatened to remain Keltra. If once I start to cut the grass, I, you, I see you don't cut the grass, that's when you are dead. Yeah, and I said, why would I be dead? But that's because you're not doing a job. You're not doing the job, psychiatry, psychiatry. So, uh, it was a psychiatric day with Mama. Uh, I got to hear a lot about the injections. According to MK Ultra, I got to meet a doppelganger from the psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch. That kind of stuff they did. Uh, I got to see a lot of hospital employees doing like this in my face. Uh, but this is the stuff they do since I stopped paying visits to my father because psychiatrist Peter Kopsch claimed when you see this and used a lot of hospital employees uh, employees at stores uh, at home for elderly people random people on the street to even explain to me that the father is not going, doing good during MK Ultra. But that's what they call MK Ultra. That's what they call the MK Ultra. So what the fuck is the MK Ultra? Well, you know what the MK Ultra was based upon, this MK Ultra. This MK Ultra was based upon, if you thinking about how this stuff is done, uh, it's, it's all done in a such a way like if you ever saw a drunk person, drunk person always wants to be right. And he will... Uh, assert something and claim something I don't know why they do this because I never drink alcohol in my lifetime for one thing so I can't really say why they do that stuff but drunk people have a tendency to claim that you know or pretend or act or I don't know uh, that they are always right they just go you know oh, you're not going to prove me whatever uh, and this is what psychiatrist cops wanted to see me do it during MK Ultra, which I have not. But the thing about it is, he was using the people all the time, like, he would cause, everything was destroyed, annihilated around me, during MK Ultra. They presented how everything will be destroyed. And this is pretty much, for every assignment I would do, he had a predisposition that the most difficult part of the assignment is going to be the ability to commence the assignment. That's why everything is destroyed. Whatever you're going to go and work, everything will just fall apart. So why would they do this stuff? Well, so that you would not do this stuff. Well, if you do this stuff to an individual in absolutely everything in life, eventually it's going to start to give up on the things. And that's how you start to demonstrating as demented person. You know, I told you, this is Satanism. This is no fucking MK Ultra. This is a Lucifer. Satanism, Luciferism is what this is. I told you, this is not humane. This is bestiality on open. They told me that there is asylum on open. This was asylum on open. This shit was asylum on open. This literally was asylum on open. This was uh, asylum on open. There are people that are lunatics in this world. Talk to myself a little earlier and try to match mentality, mental of these people. There is a, such a thing like a killer, like an assassin. And then there is upgraded this stuff that becomes lunatic assassin. Well, this was the work of, of lunatic assassins. Maniacs, psychopaths, killers. This was not the regular people that were doing this kind of stuff. These are the people that enjoy pain and suffering, sadism. 
It's not a regular type of people. And whatever they would do to me during MK Ultra about certain issue they would present, it would be always, I would do it like this, and the other one would be like, no, I would do it like that. I already got it solved. I got it solved. I too got it solved. Look how I did. Look how I did. Oh, we're going to see. You did I didn't know you didn't lie. Oh, we're going to see how you're going to do it. Are you saying you can do it? We're going to see how you're going to do it. So you know that mentality about the drunk person? Well, this is how they boosted me. This is the degree of the lunacy. American police asked me about to talk about the stuff how the people who torture who deliberately cause somebody harm like enjoy shooting person how how they act I don't have any other explanation than the explanation that I demonstrated right now basically how they do it and exactly what it takes for a person to do this kind of stuff thanks for watching this video uh, today is June the 3rd 2024 tomorrow we're gonna kick some ass at the police station uh, I am going to put this audios online uh, they give me a week according to MK Ultra scenario to treat my mother differently uh, basically not to see anything that she's doing because I keep reminded her whatever we do I keep reminded her about why they were doing exactly the stuff during MK Ultra the way they do and sh they don't like this stuff because it's all recorded mom is trying to make his, her own stories and I just don't allow because she knows that I record everything I just don't allow uh, to her to talk and lie when she start to talk and lie about things about issues like we had some kind of Mexican bread here uh, like tortilla bread but this is the bread that is not natural. This is from uh, from the stores that is made with all kinds of uh, chemicals, ingredients, <laughs> colors that look yellow. Uh, get nothing to do with uh, with the Mexican bread. But this is a lot of this stuff they they rape me with uh, eating. They demanded for me to eat the poison. Then. My mama went on and claimed, this is what you used to eat when you came from America. The truth is, I never did. I never purchased one single piece like this inside of the store. So I was really interested why she keep buying this and bringing it home. I never ate one when I came from America, ever purchased one ever in my life on my own, ever one. I did eat about maybe two of these packages at home in my lifetime. During MK Ultra, however, they loaded with that kind of stuff. Everything that was cancerous. I have also found a number one, one of the most dangerous locations that I was not aware of. Uh, deadly locations, cancer-wise, lymphoma cancer-wise, molded place. It's this fucking place. My mama told me during MK Ultra, close the doors from the hallway, from the stairway, because... She didn't say because of why, but it was the police that they no longer would even go in the house, want to go be inside of the house in 2019, 2020. This smell from the from the stairway, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck they did, because so many years it was walking back and forth up the stairs, uh, and that shit accumulated. Uh, humidity I did some stuff this year uh, for the first time in my life and that shit accumulated and the smell uh, of mold simply fucking exploded during MK Ultra the police stated me this is completely completely deadly yes I agree because it's uh, because the way you fuck it up this place is amazing now is one thing that police used during MK Ultra. Whereas my mama paid 1,500, I don't know, 3,000 euros to have uh, rooms painted and stuff like this. But he wouldn't pay me a dime to get anything done. 
when I told her, Mama, you know, we need to remove the mold and do the stuff. Mama only, you know, and I need to buy myself an oxygen tank, like the one for the divers, so that I can put myself oxygen, protect myself and go and do it. Like, for instance, the guy here from the village did. Like, for instance, all others did. But Mama doesn't want that. Mama just want it for free and good. Uh, and will not pay no fucking cent, not even for the work done. It looks like this. They told me, now, if you're ever going to find out about this. Terrible smell. This is a mold that will fucking kill you. And I had no fucking idea. I had no idea about it. I kept walking like a clown, stupid, back and forth, up and down the stairs. Uh, started last year, about two months before the new year, during the winter time, because of my left foot injury. Because you cannot go out on a cold, on a winter cold. And I think I already paid the price partially. They calculated uh, the number of particles, mold and stuff like this. They, they said maximum six months that you live if you walk back and forth and that stuff. Uh, I probably uh, injured myself, but I'm more worried about MKUltra because during MKUltra it was stinking like a motherfucker on the stairways. And they did paint it, the stuff that I demonstrated you. They painted uh, over and over. They removed, uh, with the, they, they were using the chemicals to remove the, uh, the, uh, the mold. Uh, in fact, uh, they told me, we're going to leave you a telescopic, broken telescopic fishing rod and or torches. So make sure you're going to use one so that you clean that stuff. I ain't gonna be fucking cleaning anything. It's gonna be first inspection to determine about your presence inside of the home, that kind of stuff. Then we're gonna be cleaning, then we're gonna be doing other stuff. So I plan to that one. Um, that's all I wanted to say for this video. Plenty of action, isn't it? This morning, before I took my mama, I made sure I opened all the windows, absolutely everything, even from downstairs. So for about 30 minutes at least, it aired properly itself so that mama would not get by any chance that black mold. I'm taking care of my mama best of my abilities. Uh, and she's got a reason to be afraid. Uh, can you imagine you have a physician they're fucking around with your sanity. Uh, you watch your own son being jerked up, beaten up uh, by the police, by the hospital personnel, and they're telling you that your life basically depends on, your surgery depends on uh, how you're going to perform, uh, and etc. This, this is, this is, this is a fucky land. It's called Slovenia. This is a Slovenia. This is what the Slovenian people did with their independence. That's how you do it. So, thanks for watching this video. Till next time.